All right. Today, I want to talk more about triads and what they are. Actually, four different kinds of triads, which we'll see in a moment or two. But before we do that, we have to back up a little bit. Think about the, uh, the half step that exists naturally between B and C and E and F, and the fact that there's a whole step between all the other pairs of letter name notes, adjacent tones we call them. Because of that, we're going to have, when we uh, count intervals alphabetically, two different possibilities for the third interval especially. Well, for all of them, but for the third interval in particular, it's pertinent here. If we count, for instance, from A to C, it's three letters, A, B, C, so we call it a third. A is 1, and in relation to A, C is 3. And we see that because of that half step between B and C, that this distance is one and a half steps, or three half steps. On the guitar, that would be three frets if we did it in a straight line along one string. So now let's examine a different third from C to E. We count from C to E. We count C as 1, D is 2, and E is 3. So this is a third again. Alphabetically, it's three letters. But we see here that there are two whole steps. From C to D is a whole step. From D to E is a whole step. So now we have another kind of third, a larger third, in terms of the pitch distance. It's two whole steps. The other one was one and a half. We use the terms major and minor to distinguish between the two. 